The convergence of stakeholders in the electoral process on Nabekuta, the Ogun State Capital, was to analyze the significance of the 2022 Electoral Act as amended to the conduct of peaceful and violence-free general election and the need for political parties, candidates, and their followers to play the game according to the rule. Speaking on the theme of the lecture, 2023 general elections and 2022 electoral heart, salient issues and challenges, the guest lecturer, who is also the resident electoral commissioner, independent electoral commission, Oshun State, Motiu Agboke, represented, highlighted technological advancement, granting of financial autonomy to the INEC, among others, as areas of improvement in the new electoral heart. The new act has made it unambiguous for the commission to adopt whatever process it deems necessary for the conduct of uh, an election. So technology is part of it. And that's why we're talking about the e-register and the beavers. By modal voter accreditation system is for the accreditation of voters on, on election day. It's an, an Android iOS uh, driven device and it captures uh, the, the biometrics of the prospective voter within the trickle of an eye. While noting the importance of the lecture to a successful, credible and violence-free 2023 general elections, the Chairman Association of Retired Officers of the Department of State Service, Ogun State Branch, Omolaja, Odetola, and other speakers urged stakeholders to collaborate with INEC for free, fair and transparent general elections. If political rivalry and the supporters do not believe the electoral process to be free and fair, then they will untimely resort to less peaceful method to change political direction. We must not let the streets to take the place of the ballot box. We are mopping up those miscreants in our society that can disturb our election. We are mopping up them up and we send them down there to cool their feet until after the election when they will be released. Representatives of other sister security agencies, however, urged participants to domesticate, utilize and internalize the lessons of the lecture.